Many help has been gathered to ease the burden of those affected by last week's Mount Sumeru eruption. Social Affairs Minister Tri Risma Harini, for her part, visited the Penangal Rescue Shelter in Lumajang, East Java, on Saturday afternoon and directly met those displaced in the eruption's aftermath. And to know more about the minister's visit, we are now connected with our very own Rebecca Napitupulu. Rebecca, what is the purpose of the minister's visit this afternoon? Yes, Krizia, at 12.30 this afternoon, Tri Risma Maharini, the Minister of Social Affairs, visited this place, the place where I am reporting right now, the Pangalan shelter, rescue shelter, one of the biggest evacuation center in the area. She came, the, the main purpose of her visit is to hand over the compensation to the victim's family. There were 17 victims' family that received 15 million rupiah for each family member that became the victim of this incident. Not only that, she also mm, interact and meet with the people here and also played with the children to send moral support and to check their conditions in this place. It has been seven days since the people got displaced, forced to move their house because of the Mount Sumeru eruption and then to stay here in this rescue um, shelter. It's not the best ideal place but uh, many helps has come, including from the private sectors, from organizations, from governments as well. And the, the purpose, another purpose that the Minister of Social Affairs came to this place is to make sure that all the necessities and all the logistics that the people need is provided. So, Bika, this is Hans speaking uh, regarding the visit of the Minister of Social Affairs of Indonesia, uh, aside of giving the aids. But has the government also stated any plans for the future of the victims, including where they would live after this uh, Penangal uh, village? Yes, Hans, that's also a very important focus that the government is working together, the central government and the local government. The local government stated that they will use the local government budget to be to build temporary housing in two different areas. The first one is here in Penangal village and the other one is in Supit Orang village. Mm -hmm. They will build temporary housings with um, roads, sanit uh, sanitation, and also they will use the budget to make sure that the people could live in a better situation, that they can have their own house and they can um, continue with their uh, day life. The government is also encouraging people who would like to donate to donate money instead of logistics mm -hmm. because they have been using the local government budget mm -hmm. to supply enough logistics for the next one and a half months. Right now, what they need is money to build the temporary housings for the people here. Back to the studio. All right, thank you so much, Rebecca Napitupulu, for the complete information. Please stay safe and stay healthy. All right. All right so, just a recap of that. I think uh, it's good that the, the, the social affairs minister had visited and actually mm -hmm. gave out the, uh, the, um, the, the com I guess, the compensation yep. um, mm -hmm. for the for those uh, for the seventeen families uh, that have been affected, and uh, each of them uh, received fifteen million rupiah for yep. each person yep. lost of their family and again it's this is uh, seven or eight days uh, just exactly one week mm -hmm. after the eruption that you know we were we were here crazy yeah, last week yes we were reporting it uh, during a breaking news and uh, yeah it's uh, it's it's um it's a, it's a sad situation for for those uh, who are displaced uh, most of them are coming from the five villages that mostly affected there so hopefully they will get uh, to live in a better place and also, considering that Indonesia is sitting on a ring of fire, uh, this kind of situation is not new to us. Um, also, the government on its part um, have to get the plan on the mitigation if, because it is, it is not impossible that this kind of disaster would happen again in the future, uh, God forbid. But uh, also from our part, uh, let's say from uh, the citizens, um, if you are actually um, I'm not hoping and also God forbid if you're actually in that kind of situation 
the first um, thing that you need to know is what is actually the right mask to wear mm -hmm. uh, to handle the volcanic ash because not all masks could, could actually prevent the volcanic ash uh, to go inside your lungs. That's right. um, for the first uh, aid, you can use uh, the uh, wet cloth. And after that, you can find yourself uh, the mask at the N95 or even N99 mask mm. that could filter the volcanic ash. Uh, because it is very uh, possible for you to get uh, the diseases uh, caused by volcanic ash. That is actually right because volcanic ash is made up of gas and mm -hmm. small particles which includes rocks, crystals and glass and can have a very dangerous effect on respiratory system yeah. if inhaled. And um, according to Dr. Irandi Putra Pratomo, he's the chief medical officer of the COVID-19 task force. The COVID-19 virus is also known of being uh, respiratory disease, yeah. right? That can yeah. cause inflammation and also injury in the lungs, known as acute respiratory distress syndrome. And this is why many doctors are afraid that inhalation of volcanic ash yeah. could com complicate health of evacuees. Yes. Considering the fact right. that right now they are staying in a very cramped shelter. Yeah. So thank you for the info, Hans. You're welcome. <laughs> it's, Meanwhile, it's, oh. it's good that the, uh, the Indonesian Ministry of Health actually uh, they have ready three hospitals, right? Mm. And mm -hmm. 13 puskesmas and around the, the area. And also in Malang, which is a bigger city. And mm -hmm. uh, speaking of the uh, dangerous of, uh, inhalation of these dangerous particles, there's a uh, Rumah Sakit Saifu Anwar in Malang is actually is the one designated as the, uh, as the, the main hospital for the, uh, for, for, uh, for respiratory the problems. Yeah, right. the Just problems. for their respiratory. In this case, yeah, that's All right. right.